All right, guys, Master C here. I am calling out the black belts. All right, I have a black belt challenge for you. So this is fair game for black belts and for blue belts. I was kind of thinking about the, uh, the black belt testing that was delayed. Uh, we had three candidates in this particular cycle, Taryn, Elias, and EOL. They are very deserving students that have been working really hard. And uh, I guess it wasn't this past Saturday, but the one before that was when their, their black belt test was actually supposed to happen. And I kind of got this idea at that time, which was kind of like completing a test at home. So again, I'm throwing this challenge out to everybody. This is gonna be what I call an, an effort challenge. So the idea here is I want you to weigh your dobok, okay, before you work out, dry. I want you to complete this entire workout. You'll grab a pencil, because I'm gonna, it's, there's a lot of items on here. And then once you finish the workout and you take your shower, take your dobok off and weigh it again. I wanna know how much heavier your uniform gets because that's gonna be your effort, okay? So the black belt challenge is as follows. Sige hyang, ilbu, ibu, sambu. Start your workout with each of those forms once. Then work through the complete hand combination stack. White belt skills all the way up through uh, half blue, half black with a stripe. And my suggestion is do it once on each side. So maybe you start, you do like low block reverse punch on the left, low block reverse punch on the right. Then high block, high punch, high block, high punch, and so on. The complete hand combo stack, both sides. The Pianon forms. Pianon Chodon, each one time. Chodon, Iran, Samdan, Sadan, Odon. After that, complete foot combination stack, each side. Just like we talked about with the hand combo stack. Once you finish that foot combo stack, do a Basai. You can do that one, one time. Then run through your hand one steps, shadowed, right? This is solo. If you have a training partner at home, you wanna work these with each other, that's fine. But if you don't, you can work them shadowed. Hand, one step, shadow, one through 30, twice, okay? When you finish those, do the Nahanji forms that you know. So if you're a blue belt, you know Nahanji Chodan. If you're a first degree, you know Nahanji Chodan, Nahanji Idan. Second degree black belts, you guys know all three Nahanjis, you could do all three. Once you finish your Nahanji forms, one step kicks, shadowed twice, one through 30. Okay, if you're a blue belt, you only know through 26, then you would obviously just work one through 26. Uh, then, after you finish those uh, kick one steps, you're gonna move on to the other advanced hyung that you know. So you would do shipsu, you would do, uh, Edons would do like jindo. Uh, so that would be the next couple things you guys could work. After that, if you have a training partner, you can work your Holson Soul. <coughs> excuse me, doing Holson Soul shadowed is, is really awkward, but if you don't have a partner, feel free just to kind of think through those just for a moment. That way, again, just mentally, we're going through all the material. Once you finish your Holson Soul, there's two sections left. You have your weapons young. So uh, blue belts, you have staff forms one and two. Black belts, you have staff forms one, two, three. You might know some of the advanced staff forms like uh, staff form four, advanced staff form one. I posted a video a few weeks ago of advanced staff form two. That's a really tough one. So you guys can work those. Uh, Edons, you also have, if you know the first sword form, you can obviously work that one. If you know the knife form, that's a part of your curriculum as well. Once you finish your weapons forms, you just have the workout. 50 jumping jacks, 50 push-ups, 50 squats. That's it, should just take a couple hours. So that's a good one. If you complete that, it is, you can obviously, we'll give you three class credits for it. And uh, I do wanna see who has the heaviest uniform, okay? If, I'm a, if I was betting on it, I would probably put my money on Mr. Carrion, AKA uh, Mr. Puddles. So if anybody can beat him, I will be truly amazed, okay? But I'll lay it out there. I also wanna do a quick shout out for India. She has the most recorded classes of any black belt thus far. So great job, India. You've set the bar high for the rest of us to follow. Um, everybody, I hope you're doing well. Work hard on this, and uh, we'll see how heavy those dough box get.